This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of all sins we have committed against you and against your creation. Father, I ask for now according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, that you can your angels around all of us participating of this broadcast around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws and friends to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And welcome, everyone, to another live edition of our The Miracle Hour broadcast, also a Spiritual Warfare Strategic Network. Amen. So I'm going to explain here briefly for the new people. Every day we have new people showing up here and also watching the videos throughout the day. That's why I explain You know, I take a couple of a couple of minutes to explain how this works. First of all, you see the schedule up there, okay, on the upper left corner. Live daily, 9 p.m. Pacific time, midnight Eastern time. Okay, now you figure that out. You figure your time out if you live elsewhere. Okay, so we try to be here at least once a day, every day. You know, but if I, if I don't show up here some days. You know, then uh, it's because I'm busy doing something else. But, you know, uh, if we don't show up here live, we are still covering our members every day. We put their demons to run every day, several times a day, throughout the day, every day. I said every day. I've been serving Christ for over 35 years. I've been doing spiritual warfare for 35 years. There's nothing new under the sun for me when it comes to spiritual warfare. Okay, amen. And anyone can join our spiritual warfare strategic network. Okay, the miracle hour is our broadcast. Spiritual warfare strategic network is our ministry. Okay, that's where we pray every day for our members. Those who become members, we pray for them. We pray for their family members every single day. We put their demons to run. We break their witchcraft every single day okay day in and day out and of obviously live when we come live we also do it right that we're going to be doing here in just a, a few minutes but first we're going to be praying first for miracles right that's that's our broadcast the miracle hour we are here believing god for miracles i already received a miracle today okay amen i'm used to receive miracles from god I'm used. I've been receiving miracles from God for the past 35 years. Actually, longer than that. For the past 63 years. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. More so after I became saved 35 years ago. Why? Because God is a miracle working God. He, you know, he loves to work, work out miracles for us. Always remember that. Now. Why is that that we have a spiritual warfare strategic network? Because Satan is doing his job. Every single day, he beats people up. Every single day, he kills people. Every single day, okay, he causes pain. Okay, amen. And stress, amen. And other stuff. Every single day. He never takes a day off. His demons never take day off. Now, I read this scripture yesterday, and I want to read it again, okay? Our ministry is based on this scripture right here, okay? 2 Corinthians 10, chapter 10, verses from 3 to 6. I'm reading from the New King James Version. This is what the Bible says. 
For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God. For pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So, summarizing, okay, even though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, etc. Okay? So, in other words, we have spiritual weapons given to us by Christ Jesus. Amen? That's why the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, from 10 to 12, it says uh, that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against demons, against whatever. We do not war according to, according to the flesh. We do not wrestle blood, flesh and blood. So in other words, forget about human beings. Your true enemy is Satan. Okay, but he wants you to hate people. He wants you to hate your, your neighbors. Okay. Amen. He wants you to hate your neighbors because once you hate your neighbors or anybody else, then he has access to you. Okay. He's very tricky. He makes people feel angry at others so they can open up a door for Satan to come in and beat them up and put sickness and disease inside their bodies and eventually kill them. That's what Satan does. That's what he demons are doing around the, around the world, right? Amen. So there's nothing new under the sun. Satan is here ready to kill you. Okay? He wants to kill you, by the way. Okay? He's not playing games. Now, if I were you, I would not play games either. Okay? That's why we fight Satan and we put his demons to run. Now, let me say this to you because this is very, very important. Our spiritual warfare strategic network is a membership network. Okay, it's a membership network. Anyone can become a member and benefit from what we do. We put demons to run daily. We put our members' demons to run daily. We break their witchcraft. And we also, you know, cast out their family members' demons every single day. If Satan is working all day long, every single day, why can't we? We have to. We cannot afford not to fight Satan. We cannot afford to sit around and do nothing, and then pretty soon Satan shows up and he starts beating people up, putting cancer inside their bodies. That's one thing he loves to do, put cancer inside their bodies. Cancer, pain, migraine headache, back pain. Okay, that kind of stuff. He is specialized in doing that kind of stuff. That's why we fight his kingdom. That's why we exercise our authority over his kingdom. That's why we do what we do. Okay, that's why we confront devils every single day and put them to run every single day. And we do it on behalf of our members. As I said, anybody can become a member. Some have already become members here, like a lifetime, one-year membership, six months, three months. Okay? Now, whenever you have a chance tonight, after the broadcast is over, go to brothercarlos.com. That's the website. The website address is also in, in the description of this video, below in the description area. Look for it. It's there, somewhere. I know, but it's very easy to type this on your browser. BrotherCardos.com is our website. Once you go there, read about it. Watch those two videos that I have there explaining how this works. Okay? And then sign up. It's a no-brainer. Sign up. 
it's better to sign up here than to sign up for Netflix. Because we get demons out of you. Netflix put demons inside you. Okay, this is a no-brainer. Sign up. And then you and your family and your entire household and your business and your job will be all covered every single day. We'll be putting your devils to run every single day. Amen. So then sign up. Amen. Praise God. Can you say hallelujah? Can you say amen? Now, let's go back here to the miracle hour portion of this broadcast. Amen. Now that you know, you know, no, no, let, let, me, let me go ahead now and ask you, okay, to repeat after me. This is very, very important. You must repeat after me. Repeat this. Say, Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ, I choose to forgive everyone that ever hurt me one way or another, including the living and the dead. I forgive them all in Jesus' mighty name. I love them. No, no, say, I forgive them. I love them. I pray for them. And I bless them. Amen. Praise God. Now, let's continue. Repeat after me. Say, now, Father, forgive me of all my trespasses and sins in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, say amen. Why is that that first we forgive others and then we ask God to forgive us? Why? Because Mark 11, 25, 26 says, when you stand praying, forgive those who have trespassed against you so your Father in heaven may also forgive you. But if you do not forgive those who have trespassed against you, neither your Father in heaven will forgive you. That's why we forgive first, then we ask God to forgive us. Now, why is that that we say, I love my enemies? Because Jesus said that in Matthew 5, 44. He said, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you, and bless those who curse you, and do good to those who despitefully use you. Jesus told us to do those things. Why? Because he knows that once we do those things, we disarm Satan. We disarm his demons. Then witchcraft cannot land at us. That's bottom line. That's why you want to make sure your heart is always clean. Plus, you're going to live healthier and happier. Pretty soon that pain is gone from your body. Why? Because most pain in the body, most sickness and disease are rooted in unforgiveness. That's the spiritual root cause is unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment. Did you get that? Good. Always forgive your enemies, your, the people that hate you. Always forgive them and do it every day. Here in the broadcast, we're going to be doing that every time we, we, we gather here. We're going to be doing it because we must exercise those things. Now we're going to believe God for miracles and then we're going to drive out demons. Praise God. Why is that that we believe God for miracles daily? I received a miracle today and I'm already expecting more tomorrow. Amen. Why? Because I believe in miracles. My whole life has been a miracle. Your whole life has been a miracle. Then believe in miracle. God loves to perform miracles. Amen. Praise God. Let's believe God for miracles right now. Okay. But we must exercise faith. Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And the sixth verse of the same chapter says, And without faith it's impossible to please God. So then exercise faith, the faith of a five-year-old child. Exercise the faith of a five-year-old child, not the faith of a 60-year-old person. The faith of a 60-year-old person does not work. 
it doesn't work. Now, the faith of a five-year-old child works every time. Then, use it. Okay, exercise the faith of a five-year-old child. Amen. Praise God. Let's believe God for miracles. Praise God. Father, here we are believing you for miracles, and we want to thank you, Father, for all the miracles that you are bestowing upon our lives. My entire life has been a miracle, Father, and I thank you for it. My children's entire lives have been miracles all along, and I thank you for it. Father, we come before your holy throne right now, and we thank you, and we praise your holy name, and we glorify you. We lift your name on high. We declare that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords, creator of heaven and earth. We bless you. We bless your holy name. We lift your name on high. We magnify you. Thank you, Father, for bestowing miracles upon us. Thank you for performing miracles, even today, upon our lives and also upon our loved one's lives. Our children, our grandchildren, our descendants, our entire household. We praise you, we glorify you, we lift your name on high. Let's praise God right now, let's honor him. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with love and kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah? Can you say thank you, Jesus? Can you say praise the Lord? Oh, Father, we magnify you. Oh, Father, we lift your name on high. O Father, we declare that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords, creator of heaven and earth. O hallelujah, we praise you. We praise you, Father. We honor you. We lift your name on high. Thank you, Father, for the miracles that you are sending our way. They are coming. It's already done deal. Thank you, Father. We all here will see the goodness of our Father in heaven. Because he is already performing miracles in our lives. We will see the impossible. Because our God is the Father. Our Father is the God of the impossible. Thank you, Father, for helping everybody here. Thank you, Father, for granting us miracles. Thank you, Father, for healing us and for setting us free. We praise you. We lift your name on high. And we glorify you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now we are going to drive out demons. We drive out demons here daily on behalf of our spiritual warfare strategic network members. You can become a member. I will explain to you after we are done driving out demons. I will explain to you how you can become one even tonight. And if I were you, I will not wait any longer. Satan is out there seeking to whom he may devour. And you can be next. Always keep that in mind. But if you join our network, more power to you. Our network is growing slowly, but surely. It's growing, and the more people we have joining us, the more power we have 
to fight Satan. Amen. Praise God. That's why you owe it to yourself and to your family members to become a member of this spiritual warfare strategic network. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So now we're going to drive out demons. Why? Because we have authority to drive out demons. Jesus said in Mark 16, 17, those who believe will drive out demons. I believe. You believe, then we can drive out demons, can't we? Amen. And also keep in mind that we drive out demons now that we are live, but off cameras, offline, we drive out demons several times a day, every day, on behalf of our members, on behalf of their family members, on behalf of myself, on behalf of my family members. Let's drive out demons right now, shall we? The Bible says in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and not to harm you. Come out, evil spirits. On behalf of our spiritual warfare strategic network members, on behalf of their family members, on behalf of the entire household, on behalf of myself, on behalf of my children and grandchildren and all my descendants, and also on behalf of my entire household, on behalf of our ministry partners, and also on behalf of their family members and their entire household. Come out now, evil spirits. Come out. Go away. We have authority over you, Satan. We have authority over your demons. And we cast them out right now. Go away from us and never come back. Go away from us, Satan, and never come back. Come out now. We now break all witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, word, curse, and evil, I envy, jealousy off our members, off their family members, off their entire household, off myself, off my descendants, off my entire household, off our family members. In Jesus' mighty name, go now to the abyss, evil spirits. Leave us alone. Come out now, infirmity spirits, spirit of death, sexual demons. Come out now, insanity. Go now to the pit. Drug addiction, go now to the pit. Substance addiction, go now to the pit. In Jesus' mighty name, fear, panic attacks, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out now, devils. Come out now, leave us alone, get out of our homes, go now to the pit. We are casting you out because Jesus told us to drive you out. That's why we are doing. And you have to obey us. You have to abide by our commands. And leave us alone, go away, and never return in Jesus' mighty name. Come out now. Come out now, devils. Come out now. Come out now, financial demons. Come out now. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Loneliness. Come out now, family division. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Get out of our homes right now. Get out of our family members. Get out of us. Go now to the pit. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out now. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, go away, devils. Go away, come out, go away, come out, go away, come out. Come out, come out. Child abuse, child neglect, come out now. In Jesus' mighty name, spirit of death, come out now. Murder, homicide, suicide, come out and go to the pit. Come out and go to the pit. Come out and go to the pit. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Take a deep breath three times right now, everybody. <sighs> Come out, evil spirits. <sighs> Come out, evil spirits. <sighs> Come out, curses and witchcraft. Say amen. Amen. Now, folks, all right, we are live right now. Okay, we are live. But this video is being recorded on YouTube and it's going to be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Amen. You can listen to it again if you like. Okay. Now, uh, let me explain to you how you can become a member here because we do this live. Okay. And we also do this 
offline every day, behind the scenes, in the spiritual realm, where no one sees it. We are putting demons to run every day, several times a day. Amen. And when we come live, we also do it. Praise God. Now I'm going to encourage you folks. Okay. Satan is not playing games. This world right now is upside down. Everything is going wrong on the world right now. Amen. Amen. So things are not looking you know, good right now. And based on what I hear on the news, things are supposed to get much worse as time goes by. People are losing homes. They're getting evicted. People are losing jobs left and right, right and left. It's a mess. And it's only getting worse because of this AI that is taking jobs away from people now. Okay? Amen? Now listen, we don't have to fear these things because we fear God, don't we? We don't have to fear these things. All we have to do is fight and believe God. And God will come through for us. As simple as that. He said in Psalm 91, A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but destruction will not come near you. Well, because he's watching over us. Amen. Now, how can you become a member of our spiritual warfare strategic network and benefit from what we do daily? You and your family and your business and your entire household will benefit from what we do. All you need to do is become a member. Okay, become a member. Where can you become a member, Brother Carlos? At BrotherCarlos.com. BrotherCarlos.com is our website. It's also below this video in the description area. Look for it. It's there somewhere. But you can go straight to our website and then read about what we are doing there. Sign up. Watch the videos that we have there. Find out how we do it and why we do it. Amen. And join us. You, once you join us, you and your family, your entire household and your business, you are all covered. And now we're going to put Dimas to run daily on your behalfs. You can sign up for a lifetime or you can sign up for one year or you can sign up for six months or you can sign up for three months. Okay, you pick and choose. Now we're going to end the broadcast. I'm going to pray the final prayer. After I'm done, go to the website brothercarlos.com and sign up. Amen. Let's pray the final prayer. Father, we ask right now that you seal this deliverance and that you fill every empty spot vacated by unclean spirits with the presence of the Holy Spirit in all of us, in our family members as well. Now let me pray that prayer in Hebrew and then I'll pray it in English. Yevareha Adonai Veishmereha Yaer Adonai Panaveleha Vihuneka Isa Adonai Panaveleha Ve Yasem Leha Shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day. Now go to brothercarlos.com to sign up for our spiritual warfare strategic network. Amen. Praise the Lord. And come back tomorrow for more. The schedule's up there. Okay. God bless you now. Have a wonderful day by now.